Stan Efferding, the world's strongest bodybuilder, has been unable to bench for a year, let alone bring an empty bar to his chest without pain due to a torn labrum and a shoulder impingement. With one boomstick session, Stan was out of pain, benching again, and better yet, his quality of life was improved. Even a full week after the single boomstick session, Stan was benching 500 pounds with no pain, compared to not being able to take an empty bar to his chest immediately prior to the session. Also take into consideration that Stan has also been doing active recovery daily and seeking professional treatment on his shoulder weekly. Stay tuned to see the exact methods used on Stan. Chris Duffin here in Las Vegas with Stan the Rhino efforting. How's everybody doing? So we're going to be doing some work uh, with the boomstick, showing you some different ways to use this tool. So not every way it's probably <laughs> used, but just the way that... How, how we use it in the gym yes, for treating the body. Is. So um, we'll uh, follow along, but we're going to do some work on... Uh, Stan's got a torn labrum in his shoulder with uh, some impingement issues. Yep, been struggling so, with that for a few years. I'll talk about it now and then, so we're going to go to work on it today. All right, well, let's, uh, let's take a look what your shoulder looks like right sure. now. So, Let's just look at your internal and external rotation. So I'm gonna yep. have you come up to the side here. If you can get up there, is that good? Yep. And then show us how uh, high you can raise that hand up. So from there, here. rotate up and yeah. we're... It's always yep. a little tenderness. You know, it's it's tentative at yep. best. Let's turn to the side so we can see that on the, on the okay. camera there. Okay. And now just let it hang all the way down. Let it rotate all the way down. Right. See, I move it real slow because there's some pain there. And I'm always cautious about where it triggers. Yeah. And without hurting yourself, raise that hand a little bit up yeah. overhead to where we get to... There we go. Oh, look at the vacillation right there in the delt already just from, from firing there. I can wiggle it around and get a little... Uh, see, it just no, stops. I, I can still feel it firing just in there. It just stops. All right. Well, uh, let's see, uh, see what we can do. If not, we'll have some... Uh, of some great footage of how to use this tool. Um, you know, we've got Stan's got some pretty significant issues, and he deals with a lot of people on uh, on managing uh, his his issues. Uh, regular, do a lot of uh, active recovery and yep, ART active recovery. I'm real cautious about the types of exercises I do so that I don't cause more problems. All right, so Stan does an excellent job. He's really intelligent. Been in the industry for a very long time and uh, knows old. his stuff. So, <laughs> so. Uh, but uh, we'll uh, walk through and see what we can do. Okay, let's do it. All right. So Stan can't quite touch his chest, um, and that uh, you're experiencing pain right there, right? Yeah, on that left shoulder. Okay. All right, go ahead and come up. Excellent. Okay. We've got weight with this product, which is great. You can dig into yourself, but this nice rounded CNC end really well contoured in the size that we want to accomplish what we're going to do. So we're going to get right in here. I'm going to control the end. And Stan, let me know when you get to seven on a scale of one to ten. It's going to be a fair amount of pressure. Right. That's about it right there. Okay. And we're going to do this for two minutes. The balance of weight, contour, and knurling make the boomstick an incredibly effective product. What you see here, we're using the ends to apply a deep but dispersed load over time in a method that traditional treatments won't allow you to accomplish. The balance of the weight and the size of the boomstick allow you to easily apply load to someone else or to yourself without producing a significant amount of strain if you're doing manual therapy or using other devices. While not shown in this application, you can also let the boomstick rest or roll on your extremities. This is more of the traditional body tempering method that uh, Donnie Thompson has developed. basic kind of trigger point treatment. I'm sure you're very familiar with what we did, but it's a little unique because unlike a massage therapy or ART or any of the stuff where it's very short period of time, we can spend a lot of time and actually keep that pressure in that single point, which makes it react a little bit different. What we're gonna do next here is this knurled section. It's a real light knurl, and that's gonna allow us to actually grab the skin and roll it 
And what we're doing there is actually grabbing the muscle tissue, the fascia, and even the peripheral nerves and pulling them all away. The neuro is machined specifically not to be too aggressive. This allows us to grab the soft tissue and basically shear it. The shearing effect can be quite beneficial. And in this application, Stan, under testing, showed peripheral nerve sensitization. So we're trying to clear that up in addition to shearing the, the muscle and fascia. That right there? Yep. Let me know when the pressure's about right. Oops, it's lit off. I only had 10 seconds left anyway. Well, pretty similar, not as similar. much tenderness yeah. back there. That's good. So, I think I'm going to hit right in here. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of the rolling first. Uh. There? Yeah, that was quick there. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't have much pressure on this one. So we just did a little bit of work with the boom stick on Stan. And uh, as we noted, Stan's been doing a lot of work already. So we don't expect to see much of a change, but uh, let's just see if we do. Um, so let's work through what we did before. So let's uh, show uh, internal and external rotation. There, rotate up. Go ahead and step to the side so we can show the camera. It's definitely a little bit more there. Um, I don't know that you're going down, but you seem to be moving a lot faster. Yeah, it, I just don't feel the same hesitation because the pain's not there. The big Let's one was that, that we were yeah. able to lift the front a lot yeah, better. Yeah, go ahead and uh, turn to the side while you did that because immediately right here, this delt head was vacillating and it's not vacillating at all now. Wow, your yeah. range of motion is actually pretty damn good there. I don't, I don't feel that, uh, that impingement. No, that, you know, that's sharp. Good pain that makes you stop. Yep. That's actually a pretty dramatic change there. And, and I mean, you could visibly see it in your body beforehand, but yeah. it was trying to shut you down. So now, mind you, I go to ART on a weekly basis. I go to chiropractor yeah. and perform ART on a weekly basis. Uh, so my shoulder would be much worse otherwise. So, you know, we, we hit some spots today that, that we, that I normally hit, but we hit them deeper for a lot longer period of time. ART only lasts for, you know, 10, 12 seconds. We yep. have to move the, the joint. So, uh, you know, I feel a lot less, obviously, impingement. I have a lot, it's, the area is warmer. I don't have that sense of hesitation. Yeah, I could see it just in the speed of movement. So yeah. not, I wasn't trying to prime you at all. I mean, it's just, yeah. it's very visible. Yeah. All right, well, uh, thanks for letting us walk through uh, the use of the boom stick uh, for both that uh, trigger point uh, and then the, uh, the, the, basically the, uh, yeah. the, the shearing of fascia and muscle and actually trying to get into the nerves a little bit as well. And on so, that note, you know, I'm, I'm almost 49, and a lot of the folks that talk to me are usually powerlifters who uh, are suffering from injury, or they're older guys who just can't do the things they used to be able to do. And I try and always tell them that, that uh, I probably spend more hours outside the gym making sure that my body's healthy so that I can still spend the hours that I enjoy inside the gym. So this is a regular thing, the mobility, the ART, and the tools that you use, uh, you know, these should be something I think that everybody should do at least on a, on a weekly basis. I know it seems people like to lift, yep. but to be able yep. to keep lifting, you got to be healthy. Yep. And even though I got some serious issues, uh, I can still go lift pretty well uh, because I manage them very well. And what we just did takes a partner, but what we did was actually really easy to do. Yeah. I mean, you could train someone else to do it, you know, a spouse or a friend and and spend five minutes once a week or twice a week, yeah. pretty dang easy. There's really not an excuse. Because yeah. you could teach anybody to do what I just did for you. Sure. So yeah. very effective. And important. Not just effective, yep. but it, it necessary. Yep. You know. Well let's uh, let's check and see how that uh, changes on the bar. Okay. So see what we can do. So Stan pretty much hasn't been able to bench press. He's been doing dumbbell work. 
And whoa, touch your chest this time. How's it feeling as a whole? Good, I don't feel the shoulder impingement. All right, I would call that a positive. Light as a feather. <laughs> <laughs> Chris and Rhino here, and I'm challenging Rhino today. He's been avoiding the bench for a while, but I said, we just did some work on his shoulder. Let's see how it feels, and we're gonna do. <clears throat> So Chris has tried and tested this tool uh, on, in his lab up there in, in Portland, Oregon, and it's been very effective for me. I was able to go from not having benched in probably a year uh, with any significant amount of weight or pain to, uh, uh, you know, I benched with him 315 for reps, and then just a few days later, I benched with uh, just recently here with the guys, and I was able to put up a 500-pound bench without pain again recently. And I was having trouble putting two and a quarter on an incline bar and, uh, and losing you know, my range of motion and, and getting pain. So a great tool, a great resource for you. It's uh, uh, kabukistrength.com and it's uh, Chris Duffin, the mad scientist. Look him up and uh, pick one of these up. It'll help you a lot with your rehab.